My favorite duo, my favorite band, Steely Dan, we are back. I mean, come on, man. Who 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 get the party rocking like Steely Dan? Let's have an honest conversation. Let's have an honest conversation. Does any band that I reacted to recently just get your, get your, get your body moving the way that Steely Dan does? I think not. It's my opinion. I don't know. Y'all tell me. But Steely Dan, when it comes to me, all right, and the music that I've recently been reacting to, Steely Dan is one of one, man. And this record got the nerve to be called Deacon Blues. Now, shout out to my boy Marshmallow over on Patreon, official made member of the mob. Um, He said, yo, hurry up and do this so I don't have to nag you. So I don't have to bug you. So this for you. <laughs> but um, a lot of people have been telling me to check this out. Again, once I started Steely Dan, the request just started rolling in. And so I just kind of, you know, played the numbers game. But we here now. We ready. Y'all know how this go. We do the song research afterwards. But we just going to vibe to Steely Dan. It's really no, no. We, we just going to shut up and listen. Let's go. Damn, this a vibe. Oh, this a vibe. Now, this ain't rhythm and blues. This is... Maybe, damn, maybe it is. This might be rhythm and blues, huh? But I tell you what, the instrumentation in this... Lord have mercy. I mean, I, I think I get so swept up into just the music as a whole that I really don't highlight everything individually. Like, just the backing vocals. Who are those women? They sound incredible. When they come in on the backing vocals, the horns. Now we got horns in here. I mean, they really remind me of Chicago. Chicago, I mean, y'all remember Chicago, my favorite rock band with horns. I mean, 
Those brothers was just exceptional. And so just to hear horns and rock records. But this ain't even rock. That's the thing with Steely, Steely Dan. This ain't rock. This, again, I'm, I'm having a hard time classifying it as R&B. But when I really sit here and think, it is in an odd way. It is R&B. Just that one line, uh, you know, I was sitting here drinking drinking some whiskey and got behind the wheel and died. Like, what did he say? I mean, just, it's just, oh, man. It's just good music, man. Bro, they call Alabama the Crimson Tide. Will call me the Deacon Moose. Boy, I'm telling you, Steely Dan. <laughs> Again, man, look, Black Cow 
Black Cow is still my favorite. I don't know. And I think it's because of the, the style of R&B that it is. It's like perfect for me. But I'm telling you, man. I mean, all of that music is just like butter. It just slide down the bread. Ugh. Damn, this music sound good, bro. It just feel good. It's feel good. You could get up and dance to this. You could sit in the house and drink some wine and your robe to this. Like this is just Oh, it's just vibes. Oh man, Steely Dan. I'm telling you, man. If they my favorite band right now. No lie. You just can't you can't you can't fake this music, man. It just feel too good. It feel too good, bro. And I behind the wheel. They go Alabama to Crimson Tide. Oh, call me Deacon Blues. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this music. Oh, man. Then it got the nerve to be catchy. Like their lyrics and the quotes from these records be so catchy. Oh, man. It just feel good, man. The song was written by Walter Becker and Donald Fagan in 1976. Recorded by their group Steely Dan on their 1977 album, Asia. Good Lord. Everything is on this album. Number 19 on the Billboard charts. Uh, it also reached number 40 on the Easy Listening chart. Peaked at number 14 in Canada. Stayed at that position for two weeks. Wow. In 2021, Rolling Stone ranked at number 214 on the 500 Greatest Songs of All Times list. Damn. It's a fire-ass record, bro. I'm telling you. They call it Jazz Rock and Yacht Rock. I would agree. I would agree. I ain't even think about Jazz Rock, but definitely. I would definitely agree with that. And I will handle you. Song was largely written at Fagan's house in Malibu and was prompted by his observation that if a college football team like the University of Alabama could have a grandiose name like Crimson Tide, the nerds and losers should be entitled to a grandiose name as well. <laughs> That's funny. Characterized as a loser by Becker, the song's subject was meant to reflect a broken dream of a broken man living in a broken life. Mm. I could see that. Call if you, if, if you they call Alabama the Crimson Tide will call me the Deacon Blues. Talked a lot about, you know, just getting drunk and getting behind the wheel. And there, there were a lot of references to, like, 
I don't want to say being a loser, but you know, just uh, okay. I I definitely see it. I see that. I can see that. I can see that. Who was on the but? Vanetta Fields, Clyde King, Shirley Matthews. Those are the backing vocals. Those are the beautiful goddesses. Oh, wow. She's from Australia? So, Vanetta's from Australia. Clyde is from Dallas, Texas. And Shirley Matthews is a former Motown Records producer, and she's from Los Angeles. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, I, I had to find out who those ladies were because every single time they sang back in, every time the back and vocals came in, I guess for what will be classified as the chorus of this record, you know, the Crimson Tide, Deacon Blues part, they sounded incredible. Everything sounds incredible in Steely Dan. That's another thing with Steely Dan records. I don't know if when I react to these songs, I'm listening to like remastered, remixed records, but even the quality of these records, the mixing and engineering of them, they sound so clear. Like... Because the vocals kind of sound like it, it has like, not reverb, but like an echo effect on it. But it, it's, it's done in a way that it still sounds good. It sounds prominent. But it's like, it's not, I don't know how to, but the mixing and engineering of these records. Again, if these records haven't been touched and I'm listening to what was made in 1976, 77, that is really impressive. Like the mixing and engineering of these records really held up. Because they, they, they are mixed incredibly. Like I, I don't hear... I, how I hear a lot of older records, 70s and back, I can kind of hear the age and the date in them. Not just from a music standpoint, but from like the quality of the mixing and engineering. Deacon Blues records, they're even mixed well. Like they don't sound dated. They don't sound like they were made on old equipment. Like it sounds good. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Steely Dan. And I'm behind the wheel. See, I'm about to be singing that all night. Y'all see what these damn Steely Dan... Damn, I love this. Yo, they, yo, that music is so good, bro. If y'all could, if y'all had a clue how much I listen to Black Cow, y'all would laugh at me. No, y'all would really judge me if y'all saw how much I listen to Black uh, Black Cow. Incredible, man. Incredible record. Deacon Blues, they did, did it again. Steely Dan. They knock it out the park every time, man. They really, really do. Can't wait to hear more. Know they got some more. Y'all just got to let me know what they are and which ones I should react to next. But, yeah, we're not done with Steely Dan. No time soon. So, get used to it. All right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that 75K giveaway. Until next time, with Steely Dan. Peace.